three, two, one. You may go. Be safe. Have fun. Thank you all. Shout out, Stafford Rosenbaum. You're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Have fun. Be safe. You know, this event has been around for, you know, now uh, close to 20 years, uh, uh, helping to raise you know, more than a half a million dollars a year to support all of our programs at Boys and Girls Club. So every year we ask people to move for our kids, to bike ride, to walk, uh, to do whether it's Pilates or whatever, just get moving and to raise money for local kids in our communities. Six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go! I think that, you know, people, want people, especially with now, it's a lot of people out here with uh, electric bikes. Um, so I think that, you know, we, we try to put on a great event. We got VO5 coming out today, you know, to do a concert, you know, in the park. We get free beer uh, out the folks. People get jerseys, they get biking shorts. So we try to make it all about the experience. And then also we have the UW badges, the entire basketball team coming out. And then on top of that, we had the entire football team, about 50 players and coaches come out and meet our kids. So we just try to bring people together. You know, our club and you look at our, you look at our logo, it's, all, it's about building bridges. It's about bringing people together and linking people together. And that's what we're trying to do here at Boys and Girls Clubs. So a lot of people don't know that we provide tutoring um, in schools all throughout Dane County. We have staff assigned directly to, uh, to schools. We also feed kids every single day in our clubs. We also have about 200 staff that provide coaching and emotional support and programming for kids in our community. We're building a new workforce center. We, pro we provide after school programs. We have transportation and I can go on and on and on, but it's to support programs for young people throughout Dane and Walworth County. Yeah, really excited about like the work that we do in our schools. So we started a program called Avid Tops and the goal is to help low income kids graduate from high school and go on to college. Wisconsin has the largest racial achievement gap in the country. So our goal is to help kids who traditionally don't graduate from high school to not only graduate from high school, but to go on to college. And there's a study that UW-Madison do every other year on our program. And it's going to show that we're moving the academic needle for kids of color um, in our program. Secondly, we wanted to create another career path. We know that 51% of working age adults don't go to college. And now with us having a workforce center, we're going to teach kids how to become plumbers, carpenters, electricians, entrepreneurs. We're even looking at another facility to think about how do we teach kids about serving, ultimately resulting in them getting a family sustaining job. And that's what we're trying to do here at Boys and Girls Clubs. It's, uh, to me, uh, our clubs are like a country club for kids. They're bright, they're clean. We have engaging staff that support our kids in our clubs. We feed our kids, we take care of our kids. We take them on field trips. And it's about sports, it's about education, it's about engaging young people in our community, but ultimately it's about preparing them for life after, you know, being a young person. Look, working on their character skills, on their socialization skills. So you come into our boys' school, so you'll see a little bit of tutoring. You'll see a little bit of sports and, uh, and physical education. You'll see a little bit of science. You'll see a little bit of everything. And, uh, and that's what we represent at our clubs. You know, it's not always about money, right? Of course we need donations. So I would encourage people to go to our website at www.bgcdc.org uh, backslash donate. But then we need people to give it their time and their talent. We're always looking for board and committee members. We're always looking for volunteers. Um, to help us with events like this. We have something almost every single month, whether it's during the holidays, the summer, the fall, back to school, it is always, always something going on. I mean, in fact, we have about, a, our governance structure is about 100 people between our board and our committees, but then we have about two, 300 volunteers that just help us do things throughout the year and we can use them more. Mm -hmm.